right, everybody. So that was the AT3 Tactical RD50 Micro Red Dot. Now I've had this for a couple of months, and <clears throat> to be honest with you, I've had some problems. Um, I've had some problems getting red dots to last a good long time on my AK rifles. Um, on the ARs, it doesn't seem to affect them as much, but on my AKs, I seem to have some issues. Now, these go for right around 75 bucks. They're, they're, you can find them on Amazon and various websites, but they go for right around 75 bucks. So they're the, the budget option for red dots. And so I thought I wanted to try it. The original red dot I had on here, I had on here for two years. They're like $98 and the front lens popped out of it uh, not too long ago. The second red dot I had on here was a very popular one that uh, and it looks very similar to this and within 200 rounds the rear lens popped out of this this has been through roughly a thousand rounds at this point and i've been keeping it in my truck because it's 100 degrees out here in the summer right now uh, you know out here in the desert which makes it brutally hot in the cab of the truck and i wanted to see if i could get the circuitry to melt and wanted to see if I could get lenses to pop out because glues got soft or some things like that. And so far, I've had a lot of good luck with this red dot. So give you some quick specifications on this. It is made of T6 aluminum, nitrogen filled. Um, the scratch proof lenses or scratch resistant lenses. Uh, here's your windage and elevation. This is your brightness control is zero to 11 and uh, uh, gaskets, you know, uh, you know, glues and gaskets to make sure that it's it's uh, nice and watertight. It's got a 50,000 hour battery life uh, on its lowest setting. Uh, that I don't I don't know that that's what they they advertise. I've not tested that yet. It's 3.6 ounces, uh, about two and a half inches long. It uh, has a two MOA red dot and you can get it in three risers. This is a zero riser, which is necessary for a co-witness for an AK-47. Uh, if you're using the railed gas tube, there's a 0.83 riser and a one inch riser as well. Okay, so one of the issues I've had in the past with other red dots is dead spots in the brightness selector. Uh, so like 10 or, you know, between 10 and 11, it won't work or I have to go just off of 11 and it'll work, and, or just off of 10 and it'll work, and things like that. Um, one of the things that I've noticed about this is that this is much, much harder to turn than other red dots I've had in the past. There's, it it's definitely has a lot of, you, you need to use a lot of force to turn it. Now, some people may not like that. Um, for those people I say eat a steak, um, but I think that's going to lend to this not jiggling around during the recoil um, and, and, and keeping that dead spot from happening. I don't know, but so far that's been the case. I haven't had any dead spots yet. Um, and I did contact AT3 before I ordered this to make sure, because I told them I have I've had a problem uh, and a lot of it's due to recoil and they said they've tested these up to 50 caliber um, as far as like a, a shock test or you know a recoil test to make sure it stayed zero and didn't fall apart and things like that. So again, so far that has, that has lended itself to be true. So let's see if I can get the red dot on and aimed into the camera well enough for you to be able to see it. Okay, so it doesn't appear that the camera is gonna pick up the dot Either that or I just have it at a bad angle, but you can see how the one-third lower co-witness would be what your sight picture would basically look like. And uh, that has worked out really well as well. So they do claim that it's shockproof or shock resistant. I have dropped it a couple times uh, by complete accident. It's just fallen off, you know, the edge of the table, leaning against the table and stuff like that. And as you can see out here, it's pretty rocky ground. So it's hit some pretty nasty things. And it's been plenty dirty, so let's shoot it a little bit more, and uh, you know, basically for the sake of the video, and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, we're gonna shoot what's left of this mag from the beginning of the video, and switch mags, do some other things with it, and let's get.
get it going. Dots on. It's held zero throughout this entire time. All right, let's turn the red dot off and utilize that one third lower co-witness. Works out well. <coughs> and that's it, the uh, AT3 Tactical RD50 micro red dot. Like I said, they're around 75 bucks right now, I think. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, different places. But I've been pretty happy with it so far. We'll talk to you later. Uh -huh.